Hey guys, this is Ronnie P, Pilot Gardener and Reefer. I was just gonna give you a little bit of an update on some of the equipment that I've got on my Red Sea Reefer 250. Now you can see behind me the, the lights you see underneath the tank. That's the Clearwater Scrubber um, CW50. So it's the smallest unit that they offer. But, you know, unless maybe I've done something wrong, uh, I think I found one little problem with either part of the design or some of the specs that uh, they list that the scrubber is capable of. But I don't know if you can hear the water behind me, but this tank is nearly silent and all of that that you hear is from the scrubber. Um, now that's because from what I'm under, from what I'm looking at is the the return from the algae scrubber is a half inch bulkhead. So I've got one half inch pipe with a one half inch 90 and then half inch pipe that I've got cut to go below the water line just like they tell you to do in their uh, installation video. Now they don't really have a video that is particular to or specific to the CW50 but when you look at how they did their video with the sizes of the bulkhead and how they installed the pipe, I've done it exactly the same way. The only thing I haven't uh, completed is the, uh, the emergency backup, but that doesn't matter. That, that's not gonna make any difference for the sound that I'm hearing right now. Um, but I'm gonna flip the camera around and I'll show you a little bit of what's going on with it right now. So let me do this. Okay, now you can see it's a very, very pretty unit. I mean, it looks really good and I've got it on a little shelf. Now there's something that I don't like about the way I've got it installed right now. You know, I don't like that I've got the, you know, the inlet piped overneath my top off and all that. Cause if something were to happen and that came off, I would have a major problem. So I'm gonna probably try to rework that some way or another i'm not really sure yet but there was a couple things that i noticed now you can see the the half inch pipe that i've got underneath here right there on the bottom of the bulkhead and if you'll look at the water line i don't know if you can see it with that light going but the water line is literally right at the very top of the bulkhead now I took the pipe off just a little bit ago and ran it with no pipe at all. And it seemed to not have that suction sound that you're hearing, not like that water. And if you can see it, like it is really coming out with this pipe. I just kind of twisted it where it's slightly above the water line, but I will twist it to where it's back below the water line here, just so you can kind of see. So you can see, look at how much bubbling that we got. It's almost like there's a suction or something coming from the pipe and it's just causing like this gurgling sound, um, you know, right there at the top of the, of the bulkhead. Now, this scrubber right here was rated for up to 200 gallons an hour of flow. And I've got the, the Sishe uh, the zero, I think it's 0 0.5, which is 185 gallon an hour flow. Um, you know, so obviously I'm not exceeding that. And it appears that I have too much flow going to this using the half inch PVC. Now watch what I do. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it, but I'm going to kind of squeeze the, uh, the, the line feeding the scrubber just to kind of clamp off some of the uh, some of the flow and you'll hear that the scrubber it gets quiet when I do that and you'll also see the water line drop now check that out I'm squeezing the line to reduce the flow to the scrubber 
you can see the water level is not much lower, but just a little bit, and it's silent. There's absolutely no noise coming from the scrubber. You can still see water flowing over the screen. Now you can also see that some of the screen isn't getting any water flow at all. Like this, this back, you know, probably, I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe a third, something like that, of that screen is not really, doesn't really have any flow over it. Now I'm gonna clamp off a little bit more of the flow just to see if that makes a difference on covering part of that screen. Now that dropped the water level significantly over the bulkhead when I did that. And it doesn't appear, you know, it doesn't appear to be, a, if I can get the camera to focus right, but you can see there's no water even though the, you know, the light's kind of bright, you can see there's no water over that back cap. I've almost shut the water flow off. The flow is almost nothing. I'm gonna just let a little bit of water through. Yeah, it's just not, uh, the flow isn't exactly what it needs to be on that, you know, the, the side closest to where the water enters the scrubber. Now, you can see this water. Now watch what happens when I release. It's gonna go almost, the water line is gonna go nearly up to the emergency. All right, so I'm gonna let the flow kind of come back slow. It's rising up. All right, so there's the top of the bulkhead and it's still climbing. The water level's going up, it's going up, it's going up. It's touching the bottom of the emergency bulkhead and now it drops rapidly and then you can hear it suck. Now, the pump has had time to stabilize. There's not too much, there's not any excess pressure built up on the pump. So this is 185 gallons an hour, you know, from the Sichet pump that you can see down here. And you can see the water bubbles. And that's, that's from the, the, uh, the exit line, or the drain line on the uh, scrubber. So. Anyway, you know, just uh, something I've noticed. And uh, my plan, you know, the, my first thought was crap, I need to try to, you know, back the flow down, like maybe try to go down to 150 gallons or, you know, something like that. Or, uh, you know, but the thing is, pumps are kind of limited when you start getting down to that kind of flow. Um, you know, I mean, this was the, now, this particular pump that I'm using now is the five, it's got a five year warranty. It's one of the better pumps that they offer. And, you know, so it's still kind of, even though it's a smaller pump, it's still one of the higher end, you know, it's basically carrying the same parts and warranty and all that kind of stuff as some of their, you know, their 600 gallon an hour pumps, just like the one that I've got on my return for my display tank, it's the same pump. Anyway, guys, to get a pump smaller than this, I'm gonna have to use one of those micro pumps that Siche makes. And, uh, you know, one of those, you know, you can adjust the flow on the, I think it was the, it was like their micro plus, but I think when it's wide open, it's like 158 gallons an hour. But the issue that you run into that is, I think the the head pre the head height is something like uh, 2.8 feet or something like that. So, I mean, there could be a possibility of you know having some issues getting the water you know to go where you want it to go. So I don't I don't know if that would be a problem or not, but. You would definitely think with a rating of 200 gallons an hour, you know, with a half inch bulkhead and you've got half inch PVC with a half inch 90 and a half inch, you know, PVC below the water line, you know, that's exactly the way that they recommended installing it. But you can hear it is really loud, you know, so I'm not gonna be able to do this. So I'm either gonna have to change my pump, but for right now, 
I'm gonna see if I can get me a, uh, a threaded uh, coupling to go on the outside of this, this bulkhead. And I'm gonna, um, and I'm, I'm not 100% sure if that's half inch threads or if that's three quarter inch threads. It sort of, it kind of almost looks like three quarter inch, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some checking on that tomorrow. And what I'm gonna do is, uh, if that's three quarter inch, I'm gonna put three quarter inch PVC, um, you know, down into the sump so that, you know, I'll have more volume you know, of uh, flow to be able to exit out of this thing. But uh, hopefully that'll do it. Um, it almost sounded like when I unplugged the PVC altogether and just kind of let the water just pour out of the side of this thing, I didn't hear the gurgling. Now, of course, I was hearing the water splash into the sump, but I didn't hear this gurgling that you're hearing right now in this scrubber. So. <clears throat> I'm not sure if you guys can hear this or not, but, but yeah, all that noise is from this scrubber. Anyway, so that's going to be uh, the first thing I'm going to try. I'm going to try seeing if I can change the size of my PVC on this bulkhead on the main drain to three quarter inch. Um, and maybe that'll do it. I mean, that's gonna be my cheapest option to try to fix this. Um, only other option past that is to slow the rate of flow down so that half inch PVC is enough to drain how much uh, flow I've got going into this thing. So, <clears throat> anyway guys, well, I like it, but I don't like how you know, this drain is working because it's not enough, you know, for what the maximum rate of flow that they, that they put on this thing. I mean, it's 200 gallons an hour and I've got 185 gallons an hour going into this thing, you know, which, you know, all of you know, that's not really that much. So, all right, guys. Well, I've got everything kind of set up. I kind of built me a little shelf on this little, uh, it's like a floating shelf bracket. And then uh, screwed that to a, a little panel there that I've got it, um, you know, kind of stabilized on there. And that's gonna work out okay. I just, the more I got thinking about it, I wasn't really happy with having this, uh, this feeder line from this, uh, you know, from the inlet pump, you know, you know, sitting here sticking out. Cause if, if for whatever reason, somehow or another, that thing decides to you know come off then uh you know this little pump down here is going to pump all the water in my sump out everywhere so i don't know guys i'm gonna have to rethink that i may have to uh i may look at locating this thing you know a little bit i don't know i'm gonna have to do some more thinking on that but uh, based on the, the real estate that I had under here, this was like one of the best options I could see for mounting this thing. So I don't know, I might be able to mount it on the other side. I don't know, I'm just gonna have to look at it and see. But uh, anyway, guys, I'm gonna keep you informed on what I do. And uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is see if I can change uh, the drain line to three quarter inch. So I will let you know how that turns out and hopefully that fixes it, and maybe that's something that they can change on this design. Maybe put a, you know, if they're gonna put three, you know, 200, I mean, you need at least 200 gallons an hour because, you know, it's very difficult to find pumps, you know, that are gonna be able to, you know, pump less than that, that are gonna be quality pumps that carry a, you know, more than a couple year warranty. So, anyway, guys, um, I will, let you guys know I'll post another video after I, you know, do a little more research and, and try to see if we can get this three quarter inch uh, on this um, on this drain bulkhead here. All right, guys, well, we'll see you later. We'll see you on the next one.